Good evening students. I'm sure everything's going well. You all are taking good care of yourself. Okay, so students, today we are going to start with the second chapter, second lesson of your book, Behive. The name of the chapter is The Sound of Music. First of all, we are going to start with the first part. Evelyn Glenn listens to sound without hearing it. This is the name of the lesson. So first of all, let's go through the details about the author, right? Deborah Cowley is Ottawa-based writer and broadcaster. She has traveled the world while writing more than 100 articles for different editions of the Reader Digest. Reader's Digest is a book, you, this you all must be knowing, many of which have been translated into dozens of languages. She has been an on-air broadcaster for CBC Radio in Washington D and work for CBC Television in London and Cairo, Egypt. She is the author of Cairo, A Practical Guide, Lucille Tedsdale, Doctor of Courage, and she wrote One Woman's Journey, A Portrait. So these were some of her great works, right? So this was about the author, Deborah Cowley, right? So now let's go through the theme of the lesson. Actually, what's there in the lesson? What's the central idea, the main theme of the lesson? This Biographical piece tells us how sheer determination and hard work, perseverance and courage can alone help achieve anything if we put our heart and soul to it. No handicap or barriers can break one's way if one has the will to live their dreams. So basically students, this lesson is about how our determination, our willpower, right, our courage can help us achieve all our dreams irrespective of any other barrier right or any other hindrance okay so no matter what whether you are physically you know disabled or you are having any other problem in your life whatever it is but how our determination our continuous hard work our power to you know control ourselves, our mind and hard work how all these things can help us in achieving our dreams. They always help us, right? No matter whether you are having any physical disability. Basically, in this, we are going to talk about the person like uh, he was, uh, she was having some disability. So, irrespective of that, irrespective of that, she achieved so much. Evelyn Glenn achieved so much, irrespective of all the problems she was facing. It was only because of her, you know, sheer determination, hard work, courage, all these things, which has, you know, all these things have helped her in all the hard times. No handicap or barrier, anything can break one's way if you have that will to achieve something, right? You have that strong determination. Nothing can just come in your way, right? So this is the basic main theme of the lesson. So let's start students. Rush hour crowds jostle for position on the underground train platform. A slight girl looking younger than her 17 years was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train. Okay, so it was the time, it was a crowded area, right? And rush hour was there, it was rush there. Crowds jostle, jostle means just pushing everyone to move forward. Okay, for position on the underground train platform. A thin girl was there who was looking younger than her 17 years. She was nervous, yet she was excited also as she felt the vibrations of approaching train. Okay, she could, uh, you know, feel the vibrations of approaching train. It was her first day. Now, who was she? She was Evelyn Glynn, right? Okay, so now she could hear that though, you know, she could feel those vibrations and she was nervous. She was excited also. Okay, now it was her first day at prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a Scottish farm. Okay, so she was from, Sco uh, you know, she was from Scotland and she was frightened. Daunting means frightened. She was scared because it, uh, it was her first day in that academy. Music academy was her first day, tha, right? So she was a bit, uh, you know, scared and nervous. But this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most. Okay, but there was a bigger challenge 
that she was facing what was the challenge that she was profoundly deaf profoundly means she was completely deaf extremely deaf okay so this was the challenge of her life okay so this was the biggest challenge that she was facing evelyn glennie's loss of hearing has been gradual gradual means slow her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the 8 year old evelyn was waiting to play the piano one day what happened her mother noticed that she was waiting to play the piano they called her name that means she was called okay and she didn't move but she didn't move okay as if she didn't hear ओके okay, ऐसा लगा उन्हें सुनाई नहीं दिया तो शी डेंट मूव आई सडनली रियलाइज शी हैडेंट हर्ड ओके दैट मीन्स आई इज मदर राइट एवलिन मदर शी रियलाइज दैट एवलिन डेंट हियर ओनली सेज इज एबल ग्लिन राइट हर मदर फॉर क्वाइट अ वाइल एवलिन मैनेज टू कंसील हर ग्रोइंग डेफनेस फ्रॉम फ्रेंड्स एंड टीचर्स कंसील मीन्स to hide she was able to hide her deafness okay jo unka deafness tha she was able to hide it from friends and family but what happened by the time she was 11 her marks deteriorated that means her marks grades went low unke jo grades thi wo kam hote ja rahe the and her head mistress urged her parents to take her to a specialist okay unke parents ko kya urge kiya unke head mistress ne that she should be taken to a specialist okay she uh, since she was profoundly deaf as uh, she was not able to hear it was then discovered that her hearing severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for the deaf okay so it was then realized that she was you know her uh, nerve got damaged and she uh, her hearing was impaired that means her hearing power got weakened okay unki hearing power weak ho gayi thi and they were advised that she should be sent to a school for the deaf and they should she should be given some hearing aids okay everything suddenly looked black says evelyn that she was like you know she was stuck that what should i do like what will happen in future and all but evelyn was not going to give up she was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music she never gave up right she was determined that yes i'll lead a normal life one day she noticed a girl playing a xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too that that mean you know she also wanted to play that xylophone xylophone is a, a musical instrument right okay now most of the teachers discouraged her but percussionist ron forbes spotted her potential okay now most of the teachers discouraged her that no you cannot do it you are deaf and you are not able to hear and all but one percussionist right one percussionist percussionist is actually a drummer like one who plays drum and all right ron forbes her teacher spotted her potential unko unka potential dikhai diya potential ability okay he began by tuning two large drums to different notes so he played he played two large drums with different notes unhone two large drums ko different different notes mein play kiya okay don't listen through your ears he would say try to sense it some other way so he said that don't listen through your ears just try to sense it some other way says evelyn suddenly i realized i could feel the higher drum from the waist up and lower one from the waist down okay suddenly evelyn realized that she was able to feel the music she was able to feel the higher drum that means the higher note music notes we are talking about here music ke jo notes hote hain right so she realized that she was able to feel the higher notes from the waist up waist up part okay waist is actually the part where you tie your belts and all okay so waist up ke jo body parts the she was able to hear or feel rather feel higher notes from waist up and lower notes from waist down so in all she was able to feel the music she can't hear but she was able to feel the music forbes repeated the exercise and soon evelyn just developed that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body she just discovered that she could sense certain notes ki unko kuch notes feel ho rahe hain through some different parts of her body i had learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibration that means she was able to feel the sound and vibrations and the rest aur baki kya tha rest was her strong determination and 
hard work which led to success she never looked back from that point onwards that means now she never looked back now she just you know got an idea that yes i will never give up i will definitely achieve my goals she toured united kingdom with a youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 she had decided to make music her life okay so by the time she was 16 na when she was 16 years old she decided that yes she will make music her life that yes she will do something good in the field of music she auditioned for royal academy of music and scored one of the short perform highest mark in the history of the academy right so she just you know auditioned the royal academy of music and she got highest marks in the history of academy she gradually moved from or- orchestral work to solo performances now orchestra you know group of uh, you know musicians are there you all must be knowing orchestra means when you are having number of uh, you know musicians the ones who play drums and number of instruments okay but after some time she moved to solo performances solo means where she used to perform solo that means uh, you know she only used to perform not a group okay so she after some time she shifted from orchestral work group work to solo performances now she started giving solo performances at the end of her 3 year course she had captured most of the top awards so at the end of her 3 year course she did a course na in music so after at the end of that she captured most of the top awards okay unko bahut sare top awards mil gaye the and for all this evelyn won't accept any hint of heroic achievement he she just says if you work hard and you know where you are going you will get there okay so according to her if you work hard and you know that where you want to go that you have a fixed goal then you will achieve your goal and she got right to the top the world's most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousand instruments and hectic international schedule it's hectic hectic means busy okay h e c t i c okay international schedule that means she was performing internationally she was giving solo performances and she had won number of awards so now it was her way to success it is into going to watch ev elin function so effortlessly without hearing okay interviewing means it's like so curious right everyone is when you are you know surprised or fascinated with someone's performance that how good he or she is okay so it is so fascinating to watch evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing that means she used to you know play the instruments so effortlessly what is effortlessly it's like smoothly without any problem okay without and although she was deaf but then too she was able to perform so effortlessly in our two hour discussion she never missed a word men with bushy beards give me trouble she laughed it's not just watching the lips it's the whole face especially the eyes so she was like that men with bushy beards okay you all must be knowing beards like men who are having bushy or you know thick beards she, you know those men give her trouble because she is not able to see the face right because she's uh, you know since she is deaf so she can only read the lips right if someone is uh, telling her something she can just read the lips okay through expressions she was able to get the things but men who were having heavy beards they their lips were only visible na unke sirf lips are visible hote the it was difficult to get an idea of what they were talking okay because it's only the lips that were visible the whole face was not visible of such men who were having beards so such men used to give her trouble trouble means she was having some problems uh, you know getting the things from such men who were having such beards right she speaks flawlessly with a scottish lilt she used to speak without any mistake okay beautifully in a you know scottish way okay scottish language okay scottish way my speech is clear because i could hear till i was 11 she says so she you know her speech is clear in scottish because she 
could uh, you know hear till she was 11 obviously she could hear till he was 11 right till she was 11 she could hear after that she had problems right but that doesn't explain how she managed to learn french and master basic japanese okay do you know she also mastered basic japanese she was uh, you know and she learned french also right as for music she explains it pours in through every part of my body what is pour to fill okay so every part of his body gets filled with the music notes it tingles in the skin my cheekbones and even in my hair that means this is the way she is able to feel the music each and every part part of her body is able to feel the music when she plays the xylophone she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips okay and when she uh, you know plays that musical instrument of xylophone she could feel the sound passing up the stick okay like she feels as if the sound is passing from the stick through which she's beating the drums she, you know the sound is passing through the sticks into her fingertips okay it seems as the sound is passing from stick to her fingertips unke fingertips tak sound aa raha it feels by leaning against the drums she can feel the resonance flowing into her body so by leaning against the drum leaning is like you know touching them and just uh, you know by siding them leaning against the drum she can feel the resonance or echoes of sound flowing into her body so this is how she used to feel the music because she was not able to hear it on a wooden platform she removes her shoes so that vibrations pass through her bare feet and up her legs okay so on a wooden platform she used to remove her shoes so that vibrations can pass through her bare feet ki jo vibrations hain wo unke bare feet se pass hokar unki body mein jaye right okay so she used to uh, you know remove the shoes and all not surprisingly evelyn delights her audience obviously audience ko wo delight karti hai she just makes them happy in 1991 she was presented with royal philharmonic society's prestigious soloist of the year award she was awarded with this award in 1991 says master percussionist james blades okay so she received such a great honor the famous percussionist james blades says god may have taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary what we hear she feels far more deeply than any of us that's why she expresses music so beautifully so he says that god may have taken her hearing but he has given her he has given her some extraordinary things what we hear she can feel and more you know more deeply than us that's why she expresses music so beautifully evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic workaholic means the one who like to work okay I have just got to work often harder than classical musicians but the rewards are enormous although although she had to work hard but results were enormous results were enormous enormous means huge apart from regular concerts evelyn also gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals and she also used to give free concerts free you know music shows in hospitals and prisons okay she also gives high priority to classes for young musicians that means she also used to you know give high priority for young musicians the newcomers okay priority is when you prioritize like when you want uh, someone when you think of someone at first okay so she used to think of these young musicians also and richlin of the pithoven fund for deaf children says she is a shining inspiration for deaf children they see that there is no way that they cannot go and richlin is actually a, a you know professor in classical department okay so she uh, you know it was like that fun you know she used to say that she is a shining inspiration wo ek shining inspiration hai for deaf children okay they see after her they see that there is no where they cannot go aise koi place nahi hai jahan pe wo nahi ja sakte aisa koi goal nahi hai wo jo achieve nahi kar sakte so this you know this girl evelyn glen was an inspiration for all the deaf children evelyn glen had uh, already accomplished more than most people twice her age that means 
इवन द पीपल हुआ ट्वाइस हर एज हैव नॉट अचीव्ड सो मच देन शी हैज़ ओके जो लोग उनसे ट्वाइस एज के हैं उन्होंने भी इतना अचीव नहीं किया जितना उन्होंने किया अचीव राइट एवरी ने शी हैज़ ब्रॉड पर्क्यूजन टू द फ्रंट ऑफ द ऑर्केस्ट्रा एंड डेमोस्ट्रेटेड दैट इट कैन बी वेरी मूविंग इट कैन बी सो स्ट्रॉन्ग इट इट कैन बी सो फेल्ट डीपली फेल्ट शी हैज़ गिवन इंस्परेशन टू दोज हु आर हैंडी कैप पीपल हु लुक टू हर एंड से If she can do it, I can. And not at the least, she has given enormous pleasure to millions. She has given inspiration also, and she has given pleasure also to all the people. She has entertained lot of people. People got fascinated by her work. Fascinated is like you know, you when you think like how can she, how can she, you know, play such these musical instruments so well, even if when she is deaf. That is fascinating. so she has given inspiration to lot of deaf children lot of people with this physical disability handicapped people and she has also entertained lot of people fascinated lot of people so this is how this uh, you know my uh, this evelyn glen irrespective of her physical disability she has achieved so much su- uh, success and how she has made a success story right so again the moral here is that no matter what you all should be strongly determined if you want to achieve your goal nothing can stop you right no physical disability no nothing can stop you if you have that determination if you have that will power right like she had right if you have that have that courage if you have that you can easily achieve your goals like she did you can make your own success story right so this was your first part students go through it from your book right if any issue you can contact me i'll see you all in the next class till then just take care students thank you